go. Okay, so what we're going to do in this section is we are going to install the power supply and we are going to uh, install the motherboard. So uh, with, the, with the power supply, it comes with four screws and you just want to slide that in the bottom right here. And let's see. Oh, I almost put it in there upside down. Um, this case has a little uh, screen on the bottom with the fan, and so we can suck air in from the bottom of the case if we want to to cool this. So I think we want to put it in this way. You just want to wiggle it until it gets into the right place here. Got a couple of little brackets that it snaps into. And then we just want to screw these screws in to hold it in. I'm going to use my little nut driver on my screwdriver to install those. Next, we'll put in the motherboard. Alright, so now the power supply is in there. Next thing I'm going to do is pop in the back plate. And I always double check how that snaps on the motherboard there. So this should go up. So I'll pop in the I.O. plate. Until it just snaps a little bit. Okay, that's in there good. Now, um, there are four motherboard standoffs already installed in this case, and with the P8Z77 we need six, and so I need to install two more up at the top here. So what I'm going to do is uh, get this little accessory bag out here and pull out two motherboard standoffs and screw those in real quickly. So these little brass hexagonal things here are motherboard standoffs. These need to screw in. So like all cases, this is designed for different size of motherboards. And we know from last time that we need two up here. Tighten those up just a little bit with my pliers to make sure that they're good and snug. Because those don't need to be moved. I'm going to do the same thing with the other ones. Alright. Now let's lay it down. I'm going to get a top view here for putting the motherboard in so people can see it sliding in. So again, we want to set it in. Be careful that those try to get these little I.O. ports to line up well so that they poke through the back there. So let's
Ooh, this thing's heavy. I'm trying to not scratch up the bottom of the motherboard. While I pop these through. Okay, good. Got that good and snug there. And then we want to use some of these little screws right here to screw the motherboard in. And so we had six motherboard standoffs. We want to use six screws to screw that into the case. And so I guess we'll end this section now while we put screws in those six holes.